Lesson 3.6, Decimal Subtraction. Our essential question today is how can you use base 10 blocks to model decimal subtraction? So let's connect. You can use base 10 blocks to help you find the difference between the two decimals. So again, we're using the flat like we did earlier um, as a one, and we're using the long to represent one tenth and the cube to represent one hundredth, or the small cube to represent one hundredth. So the materials of the base 10 blocks, again, I have them on the floor if you need them. So we're going to use the base 10 blocks to find 84 hundredths minus 56 hundredths. And we're gonna, the model that we're going to start with is 84 hundredths. We're going to subtract 56 hundredths. Start by removing the 6 hundredths. Do you need to regroup when you're removing the 6 hundredths? Let's explain. Yes. I do need to regroup the 1 tenth as 10 hundredths to subtract. Okay, just like when you're doing a problem that's not um, using tenths or hundredths. Um, if the number on the bottom is um, smaller or bigger than the number on the top, then you're going to need to regroup. Subtract the tenths and remove the five tenths. Record the difference. So let me do this really fast. I'm going to do it over here. I'm going to line it up. So I'm going to take this number, which is 0, 0 0.84. And then subtract this number, which is 0 0.56. Very important that I line up the decimals. So again, as I said here, I have to regroup, right? Because I can't take 6 from 4. So I'm going to make this be a 7. This is going to be a 14, okay? And then I have um, 14 from 6 is 8. 7 from 5 is 2. And I put my decimal. So my answer should be... 0 0.28 or 28 hundredths. Drawing conclusions. What if you remove the tenths first and then the hundredths? Explain how you would regroup. Well, I would still regroup by exchanging the one tenth for the ten hundredths. Hot problem. Synthesize. Two decimals are both less than 1.0. What do you know about the difference between them? Explain. So, since 0 0.99 and 0 or 99 hundredths and 1 hundredth equals 98 hundredths, well, that's the greatest possible difference that I could possibly make if they're both less than 1. So, if that is... If, hold on, Madison. I know that if both decimals are less than 1.0, then the difference is also going to be less than 1.0 based on the greatest problem that I could possibly make. Making connections. You can use the quick pictures to subtract decimals that need to be regrouped. Step 1. Use a quick picture to model 2 and 82 second, um, hundredths minus 1 and 47 hundredths. Subtract the hundredths. Are there enough hundredths to remove? The answer is no. Step 2. Subtract the tenths. Are there enough tenths to remove? The answer is yes. If there are are not enough tenths, then we're going to regroup. So first we're going to subtract the ones. We have our one and we're going to subtract the one. And then we're going to subtract the tenths. Step three, draw a quick picture of your answer and then record. So as you can see in the picture, I'm left with one and then I have three tenths and then I have five, one, two, three, four, five hundredths. So the picture is going to look like this, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So the answer is one whole, three tenths, and five hundredths. So let's look at the Sharon show. Complete the quick picture to find the difference. So we have 62 hundredths and 18 hundredths. So as you can see in the picture, I've drawn the larger number, which is 62 hundredths, right? Because I have six of the tenths and then two of the hundredths. And I'm subtracting 18 hundredths, okay? But I don't have 18, right? So I'm going to have to borrow because I need 8. I need this to be, um, I need more from here. So let's go ahead and um, let's take one of these 10s. Let's borrow it. So I'm going to take a 10. I'm going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? So now I'm going to subtract. Well, I need to subtract one of the 10s. I'll do that in a blue color. So if I'm going to subtract one of the tenths, okay, and then I need to subtract eight of the um, hundredths. So let's go ahead and do that right now. 
Right here we have one, two, three, four, five. And there's three more to make that be eight. So now I'm going to subtract that as well. So what I'm left with is I'm left with um, four of the tenths, so decimal four. And I'm left with one, two, three, four of the hundredths. So let's do this again. Let's do, draw a quick picture. So you're going to draw a picture of the biggest number. So that's three and forty-one hundredths. So I'm going to have three holes, one, two, three. I'm going to have four tenths, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to have one hundredth. There's my hundredth. And I'm taking away one and seventy-four hundredths. So let's take away the one. Can I take away seven of these? I can't. So I'm going to have to regroup this, right? And I'm going to break it into ten parts because that's how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's now gone because I moved it over here and I broke it down. And I need to take away seven. So there's one, there's four, and then I'm going to take away these three, okay? So in my answer right now, I'm left with one whole dot and I have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tenths. So I have one whole, seven tenths. And then I have my my little single um, hundredth here. But I need to take away four hundredths. Now, let me not do the answer up here first because that can actually mess us up, can it? Let me erase this. There we go. Let me erase the answer altogether. There we go. I don't want to confuse this. Okay, so I cannot take... Um, the four from just this one, so I'm going to have to, again, I'm going to have to regroup. So if I regroup one of these, and I break it into ten parts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so now I have eleven of the hundredths, um, four, and I've got to take away four of them, right? So let's take away four of them, cross those out. Okay, so now what am I left with? I'm going to do black ink because maybe that'll help. Well, I'm left with one hole. I'm left with one hole. I'm left with one, two, three, four, five, six tenths. And, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundredths. All right, let's look at the next one. So we're going to draw the bigger number of the two. So we have 84 um, hundredths. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the tenths place, and one, two, three, four in the hundredths place. And I'm going to subtract 57 hundredths. Well, I can't take seven hundredths from four, so I'm going to have to take one of these, okay, and I'm going to have to break it apart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay? So now I can circle my seven. Um, now I can circle my seven hundredths. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's my seven hundredths, okay? And I'm going to um, circle five of the tenths. One, two, three, four, five, okay? So the answer I'm left with is two um, tenths, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundredths. So it should be... Um, 27 hundredths, point two seven, 27 hundredths. Okay, I want you to do the rest on your own. There's only four more problems there, and then you have the, um, the main um, problem-solving problem. You can work with a partner or meet me on the carpet. Good luck, guys.